Welcome back to part 4 of building a full stack blog with React.js and Google Sheets. Last time we completed our create new post component. In this video, we are going to uh, create a navigation and list down all the blogs that are created and create a page for a single blog post. So without wasting time, let's begin. And if you haven't liked the channel, please like the video and subscribe the channel. So let's go to our code editor and go to the app.js file. Now, from evergreen component library, we will get the tab component and We will use this uh, one. Right. So just copy this, come here and paste this. Then we'll import tab navigation. This is how it should look. Next, we'll copy these state variables and paste them here. Remove this and import use memo hook. Remove this and import the use state hook. And also import the tab component. Right? Save and we have our tabs here and as you can see it also changes the url when we click change tabs so let's come here and update our tabs so our first tab will be uh, blog posts second tab will be create post right third tab could be about okay so And here they are. Now let's bring this above the, at the top. There. Looks good. Now what we want is when create post is selected, only then show create post. So create post it is at the, is the second element in this array, which is at index one. So what we'll, do is we'll check if the selected index which is this state variable is equals to one and if it is only then we'll show create post if not we'll just show empty string so when we come to different tabs we don't see anything only when we click on create post we now see that so this sort of gives us some form of routing as well. We haven't created a router, integrated the React router yet. Uh, we might do that later, but for now we have some sort of navigation to go to the create post page. Now let's uh, start building the blog posts. So what we want is we want to list down the blog posts that we have created using an API call. So we'll go to sheet DB documentation and here we'll go to the read uh, get content api and we'll copy this fetch call yeah so we just want to do a fetch call to the api endpoint and that's it so what we'll do is we'll go back to our dashboard we'll copy this and we'll go here so in our project folder, we'll create a new component called uh, blog posts .js and copy the name as well. So we'll copy this and create the new component for our blog post page. Return and we'll return a pane and we'll just uh, display a 
heading called blog posts and before we forget let's also export the component and then finally uh, import the component so we'll do here we'll just copy paste this and change the selected index to zero and put the blog post component here and this is how the import should look and back in our app here's the heading okay so now what we want to do is we'll create a state variable to hold all the blog posts let's just call it blocks set blocks will import the use state lifecycle hook initially the blocks would be an empty array right we'll also create a loading state variable to show that the blocks are loading and this will be false then we'll create a function called read blocks or let's say get blocks which will be an async function since this will call the api the sheet db api now here we'll create a try catch block for error handling handling and the catch block will just log the error to the console and finally it will set the loading to false and at the beginning it should set the loading to true right now in the try block we'll create a response we'll await on a fetch request and here we need to copy our endpoint and paste it and then we'll get our data and we'll just console log the data and then we'll create a use effect hook that runs only once and we'll call get blocks from inside that right and let's also set the blocks to data and let's also display the loading indicator Okay, so we have an array of objects. So now next what we want to do is we'll just loop through this array and display the post on the screen. So we'll do blogs dot map. We'll get a blog and an index. right and then we'll return a pane now this will have a key of uh well we can just set index for now in uh, ideally we want to have like some sort of blog dot id right but we don't we haven't created any blog id column in our sp spreadsheet so probably that's why we don't get that right so after that we'll create a heading that says blog dot title and then let's just copy paste that we'll do a paragraph
that says blog dot description and we need to have an image that has a source of blog dot image URL and an alt tag which could just be the blog title let's save this and here we have the post listed so let's give it some style so that it looks a bit better uh, does evergreen has any layouts uh, maybe not okay so uh, we'll just do it ourselves we'll create a style and give it a display of flex and first of all on the image we'll set the width to 300 right and we'll do justify content to be space evenly right oh uh, I guess we are doing this wrong so instead of that we'll create a parent pane and wrap all the blog posts in that pane and then we'll just copy cut these styles and give these on the parent pane yeah so this this is how we want them right and this parent pane should have a max width of 60 percent right and we can give it a, a flex wrap of wrap we can give it a margin of 10 auto right and what else mm. yeah so this is about how it looks for our blog we can give uh, so we can give this parent pane a width of 60% and this could be just uh, we can let this be and the margin auto can also be applied here let's debug by giving it a background then okay so this is our this one okay yeah this is better and let's remove the background and we can center this uh, we can increase the size so 
so invalid prop size can be among these values 200, 300, 400 is it supposed to be uh, let's say 800 yeah and we can give this some margin as well right and uh, on our heading we can uh, transform we can do text transform uh, was it text transform okay sorry heading we can do a text transform capitalize so that the titles are capitalized right we can just leave the description as is uh, we can try and create uh, images to be of same height cool and we can give each uh, we can give each pane or each blog post a margin uh, bottom How about 20 yeah so this is decent to begin with and uh, let's try and bring this in the center as well so back in app.js like this and let's give it a style a background yellow okay so we can give this a width of fit content and then we'll give it a margin of zero auto there and remove the background cool so now our navigation is centered and we have basically three pages one to create post one that says blog posts and one is about so now another thing we should do is let's uh, add a loading indicator so we'll go to evergreen and we'll get the spinner so this is the spinner and we'll just get this from here uh, so we'll copy this and back in our blog posts component we'll replace this with spinner and import spinner like this save and let's try it out you can see the spinner there so we need to center it so we'll grab this and just paste it here cool and now it should be centered yeah yeah so it's working well we have our blog posts listed we have a create post and in the next video we'll uh, create a separate uh, page for each blog post so you can click on each blog post and read them uh, read the entire blog post and maybe we'll even create the about page let's see how long that video goes so this is uh, it for this video if you're liking this series please subscribe to the channel and please uh, add comments uh, on what you would like next and i'll see you next time thanks